What is up guys? This is my first time shooting my Invest Arms Hawking 50 caliber flintlock. A couple things I want to go over with this rifle. The load that I used and the issues that I had with the rear sight being loose. Which I'll show you. Uh, I did manage to get a decent shot group out of here. I will share my load with you. Uh, what I used to temporarily fix the sight and the new fiber optic sights that I ordered to replace them. Let's get into it. As you can see, this sight is loose. This is unacceptable. There's nothing missing. I'll show you when I took apart the sight and replacement sight that you can see. This is just a machine tolerance. That rear blade is just so loose. I talked to Invest Arms, Dixon, Muzzleloaders.com, numerous forums. And they said this is how it's. they are. You know, this is the quality of the sights that come on the rifle. What I did as a temporary fix is I took this spring, I cut about a third of it off, and I loosened the sight, and I put this under the rear sight blade in the barrel and tightened it down, and what it did was it put tension up on that rear blade so it does not move around. These sights are ordered from muzzleloaders.com. They're Wilson. They're about $40 or so. Um, I think they're going to give me a better sight picture, obviously, and not going to move around and be a little bit more accurate i will be installing these after the season however uh, it starts up here in a couple days and i just don't want to mess with it and be out of a flintlock for now i feel comfortable with, with the sights modified the way that they are uh, i'll be limiting myself to 50 yards at first since i already have not you know taken a deer off this flintlock yet sight in process was pretty easy i was low at first so you actually screw the, the sight in to push the sight down to bring your point of aim higher. Uh, it took me about three adjustments using the same load because they were grouping tight uh, until I got it to about where I wanted it. I'm using 70 grains of GoX FF black powder with an ox yoke .018 ticking pad and using a Hornaday .490 50 caliber round balls with 4F in the pan. Bottom two shots were my first two shots, not my tightest group. But the next two up, you see how they're touching? That was after my first adjustment. Now you can see my second adjustment. I am just now touching with two holes the bullseye. Gotta do everything consistently. I would just Put a patch in my mouth every time, wet it, run it down the barrel, flip it, run it down the barrel again, then take a, a dry patch, run it down the barrel, flip it, pull it again. So everything I do consistently the first time, same amount of powder, obviously the same bullets and everything, but when you're cleaning the barrel in between, and I think that was a lot of difference on the first shot with how low it was, was because that was out of a clean bore. And even though I cleaned it, there's still some fouling in that rifling. And from that point on, that's when I started making my adjustments. So in between every shot, I used a wet patch and flipped it on each side. And then a dry patch, flipped it on each side, and then loaded it. That's a big old hole there. I can't wait to see what this does to a deer. Now at this point, I had already shot it a couple times, and that barrel was getting hot. That was a decent group right here. Now you can see they start going a little bit higher and walking away and getting further apart. I believe this was due to that barrel heating up and I'm not, I'm now not firing it out of a cold bore. So what I'm going to do before I take this out hunting is I'm going to fire my fouling shot, clean it. And I'm going to hope that it's, I can shoot a nice little group and about the you know, the same spot in that bullseye. I'm fine with, you know, a group like this. Then I'm just going to clean it once, you know, like I do in between every shot. Wet patch and a dry patch. And then I will load it, and that will be what I do for hunting season. So my final thoughts on this rifle, it being my first one, it seems to be a good quality I got a pretty accurate group out of it. It's about what I was expecting for what I paid for it. 
So we're going to see how I do this deer season with it. I actually have a ram hunt coming up in January. I'm not sure if I'll be taking my flintlock rifle and my pistol that I just got. Um, I can't hit the broadside of a barn with this pistol. So I'm going to definitely you know, do some practicing with that as well. Like I said, I'm going to shoot this flintlock again and get a little more comfortable with it. I may even take the 7mm um, just to shoot one. So my... If you watch my hunting videos, you see what I do with my 350 Legend. I've dropped three of them right in their tracks, right where they stood with it. Um, I'll probably be doing a review on that rifle soon. Nice, light, accurate, powerful. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll do a more in-depth review. I just wanted to share a few things. I couldn't find anything online about these sights being loose and you know how to fix them or any replacements. Also do a review, uh, install video and review on them fiber optic sights. Once I install them, so thanks for watching.